of St. Didicus also known as San Diego de Alcala. St. Didicus is living proof that God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise, God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. Born on 1400 at San Nicolas del Puerto, Kingdom of Seville, Crown of Castile. As a young man in Spain, Didicus joined the secular Franciscan order and lived for some time as a hermit. After Didicus became a Franciscan brother, he developed a reputation for great insight into God's ways. His penances were heroic. He was so generous with the poor that the friars sometimes grew uneasy about his charity. Didicus volunteered for the missions in the Canary Islands and labored there energetically and profitably. He was also the superior of a friary there. In 1450, he was sent to Rome to attend the canonization of St. Bernardine of Siena. When many of the friars gathered for that celebration fell ill, Didicus stayed in Rome for three months to nurse them. After he returned to Spain, he pursued a life of contemplation full-time. He showed the friars the wisdom of God's ways. As he was dying, Didicus looked at a crucifix and said, O faithful wood, O precious nails, you have borne an exceedingly sweet burden, for you have been judged worthy to bear the Lord and King of Heaven. Saint Didicus died on the 12th of November 1463, aged 62 to 63. Miracles of Saint Didicus On a hunting trip, Henry IV of Castile fell from his horse and injured his arm. In intense pain and with his doctors unable to relieve his agony, he went to Alcala and prayed to Didicus for a cure. The saint's body was removed from his casket and placed beside the king. Henry then kissed the body and placed the saint's hand on his injured arm. The king felt the pain disappear and his arm immediately regained its former strength. Don Carlos, Prince of Asturias, son of King Philip II of Spain, was of a difficult and rebellious character. On the night of the 19th of April 1562, he was groping around in the dark after a night spent with some ladies when he fell down a flight of stairs and landed on his head. There he was found the next morning, unconscious and partially paralyzed. He later became blind, developed a high fever and his head swelled to an enormous size. In a moment of lucidity, he asked that he wanted to make a personal petition to Saint Didicus. The saint's body was brought to his chambers. The prior of the convent placed one of Carlos' hands upon the chest of Saint Didicus, whereupon the prince fell into a deep and peaceful sleep. Six hours later, he awoke and related that in a dream, he saw the saint telling him that he would not die. The prince recovered from his brush with death. San Diego, California, is named for this Franciscan, who was canonized in 1588. His feast day was on the 13th of November, the 7th of November. Let Saint Didicus be an inspiration to all of us. May we inspired in his story to be a better person. Let us pray. Didicus Diego here on earth, we may be raised up to eternal glory with him in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Saint Didicus pray for us.